Hey there, and uh, welcome to the wonderful world of vintage powder actuated tools. Uh, I recently got my hands on uh, a lot of tools here lately. Um, you might say that I bought somebody out in a way. And um, there's a lot to go through. A lot of different things, uh, different versions of tools that I already had, including this one, and then there's some new ones. Anyway, um, so I'm going to throw up a quick video here of the uh, 455. This one here in particular is a K1 version, and uh, this is really an interesting tool because if you look at the uh, picture right here on the brochure, there's the fastener, and they uh, have what they call a piston. Now, it's not like a piston in most tools, uh, what we see today. Um, wish I had one of those. That'd be kind of neat to have, or a couple of them. So, here it is again. Maybe that's a better drawing. And the um, pin actually threaded into the piston and you fired it that way and then you um, pulled the tool off apparently and uh, unthreaded the piston from the uh, fastener. The fasteners were threaded studs of course and uh, let's see what else we have here. It's in here someplace. Ah, not in the best of shape. The um, Dry pins also had uh, threads on them, a combination head. And if I didn't already say it, this is the K1 setup. Now, what really makes this interesting is the breech plug and the barrel. Let me pull it apart. Barrel is square. The inner diameter is square, as is the uh, matching breech plug. On the end of the tool, it's square, and you can see it's a little offset. So I'm not really sure if that spins. I need to look at it a little closer. It doesn't look like it spins, so I think that offset might have something to do with stopping the piston. Basically what this is, is the idea is to keep the, fire, the pin from free flighting out of the tool, uh, which is what piston tools are all about. Um, all of the energy is held in the captive piston, so in this case it would stop the pin from flying out of the tools should the uh, base material be too soft or something like that. Not really too much different than um, the uh, uh, velocity power tool from uh, Mine Safety Appliance where they had the uh, metal in-between piece between the uh, powder load and the fastener that kind of acted like a brake. I don't remember what they called it. But uh, anyway, this is kind of a neat tool. Temporary setup here too. And uh, it says right there, captive uh, shield guard or something, captive stud guard, that's what that says. So you, we would have to have this whole setup. And by the way, according to the Remington literature, we'll go to that again. The uh, 455 PowerMate. Hey, look at that address too. I like looking at those ad old addresses. So I ramble on. The PowerMate is actually this here, and these are the, really like... Uh, Consider different accessories. It looks like that's how they marketed the tool and stud driver and accessories. So each barrel, which of course obviously you're going to buy at least one barrel with the tool. So the 455 PowerMate is this and these are kind of like accessories. It's the way that it appeals to me that they marketed the tool. So um, anyway, that's it for now. I do have a lot of other cool tools. Uh, not having a lot of time getting to it, but uh, that will change here. So anyway, thanks for a lot.
let's try that again. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.